Vapro no-touch intermittent catheters have been known for years for their 100% no-touch protection they provide with a protective tip and sleeve. 50% of intermittent catheter users reported less frequent urinary tract infections after changing to Vapro catheters. That's great, but why is that? We asked an independent laboratory to investigate. We were interested in two things. How great are the protective effects of Vapro catheters? And how do they compare directly with catheters from other manufacturers? Sounds good, but how do you actually test that? First of all, for optimal comparability, the researchers of the study looked for catheters with at least some of the product features that can stand up against Vapro catheters protective features, such as the protective sleeve. In the end, these catheters have been chosen. All catheters have a protective sleeve, but there is none that has a protective tip like Vapro catheters. All tested catheters had the same French size. In order to test the protective effects of the catheters as realistically as possible, and at the same time, objectively and reproducibly, the researchers have developed the following test method. As one of the most relevant uropathogenic bacterial species, E. coli bacteria were chosen for testing. E. coli are gram-negative bacteria dominant in the bacteriology of catheter-associated urinary tract infections and have a high propensity for antimicrobial resistance. But not enough. Gram-positive bacteria using Enterococcus faecium were also included. The specific strain used is multi-drug resistant, including tegentamicin and vancomycin. Lastly, yeast were represented by Candida albicans. To simulate the bacteria on the skin, the researchers inoculate gloves with a precisely defined concentration of each of the above. With these gloves, the researchers will insert the respective catheter into the urethra of an anatomical silicone penis model. The silicone model is also prepared. The researchers inoculate a precisely defined quantity of bacteria or yeast into the distal opening of the urethral model. The rest of the model is sterile. Then the researchers push the catheter through the model following the instructions for use of the respective manufacturer. When it comes out on the other side, they cut off two pieces, each two inches long. Upon withdrawal of the catheter, they also cut two two-inch sections from the protective tip and sleeve. The entire cap is also tested. Now they count how many bacteria or yeast have adhered on the respective sections. Multiple researchers repeat this process nine times for each bacterial and yeast strain for each catheter model. Quite a lot of effort. But what has come out of it? If you compare the sections of the protective tip and sleeve, all sections of the models are full of bacteria. More precisely, there are millions of microbes per section. Thanks to the protective elements, the cap, protective tip and sleeve, effectively zero microbes landed on the catheter itself. And what does it look like there? If you compare the sections of the catheter after it has been pushed through the urethral model, there are differences. The Vapro catheters provide superior protection in reducing microbial contamination to effectively zero. On all other catheters, the researchers found 25 to 2,400 times more microbes than on Vapro catheters, which in the worst case could potentially cause urinary tract infections. So it is measurable after all. Vapro catheters actually offer the best protection. And we are proud of this. Vapro catheters contribute greatly to the ability of individuals to catheterize cleanly and live life on their own terms. <laughs>